teacher turned on the TV for an announcement and they told us that we needed to leave. The first thing that happened was they quarantined the hospital in Chicago, trying to keep everything under control. That didn't work and they actually ended up quarantining Chicago as a whole. I was in college in my apartment watching TV and my grandmother actually called me to tell me the news. I realized I wasn't waking up because there was like no car noises on the street. And then I got a call from my girlfriend at the time and she just said like, like oh my god, oh my god. Everybody was being evacuated. I didn't know why. Uh, I just was told to evacuate. I started packing my bags and I realized there was like nowhere to go. I immediately called my parents to see if they were okay. The president came on TV, told everybody to remain calm, that everything would be okay. It wasn't. Do you have any family or friends with you? No. Just, I mean, friends, I guess, coworkers, but no family and friends. Were you able to reach any of your family? Have you been able to get in touch with any of your family since? I like to hope they're still alive. Like, if they're still alive and hope that I'm still alive, then it, you know, I kind of hope the same. I my mom and dad driving up slowly and looking at me and rushing me into the car and then going home and packing everything into the bags and trying to get out really fast. I asked about my brother Sam, and he said that we couldn't go back to get him. They tried to evacuate all the major cities and get everybody out, but that didn't really work out. Most people didn't get out, and they were just left to fend for themselves in the cities and whatever, with what they could find and eat what they could eat. They were on their own. No connection, no communication, no nothing.